Hey guys, this is Canon with MakeUsif.com, and today I'm taking a look at the super tiny palm sized computer, the XDO Pantera Pico PC. It's currently around $179, depending on what model you get, and, and it handles most simple computing tasks like browsing the internet, basic productivity, and 4K video at 60 Hertz. It's a Kickstarter campaign, and it offers additional accessories such as the Pantera Pico projector. There's also a few keyboards as well as a power bank. After the launch ends, the price goes up to over $200. So is the XTO Pantera Pico PC Kickstarter worth it? Let's find out. XDO hasn't developed any other products and their webpage has only been up for about a year. However, their review unit is indicative of a polished final product and then on top of that, they've exceeded their funding target by over 3,000%. After evaluating the Pico projector and the Pico PC and comparing um, their models to what they're charging, I can't find any reason for why this product would not ship. But there are some very good reasons why the, this, uh, the project is definitely going, going to ship, but I'll get to that later on. So the Pico PC almost certainly will get delivered, but is the product any good? The specs are decidedly low-end, although the value is pretty good considering that other similar computers can cost about $20 more, $20 to $50 more, and basically have the same stuff inside. And the internal components that we're talking about are a 250GB M2 SSD, an Intel Celeron uh, J4125 processor, and 8GB of dual-channel RAM. So altogether, these components make the Pico PC su suitable for streaming 4K video at 60 Hz, basic productivity tasks like spreadsheets, browsing the internet, and as a head un unit on a 3D printer, for example. However, there's one thing it's terrible at, and that's gaming, unless you're doing cloud gaming. Uh, but even though the Pico PC lacks punch for its size, it's not alone in the ultra-tiny PC niche. There are currently three other PCs with almost identical hardware for roughly the same price. And those are the GMK Nuck Box, the Chewy Lark Box, and the Xiaomi Ningmei Rubik's Cube Mini. Well, all of these computers are basically identical to each other, and uh, they're very similar to the XDO Pico PC. Uh, there are three major differences. First, the Pico PC has a total of four USB slots. Second, as I mentioned uh, earlier, it's Linux compatible. Um, and uh, third, uh, this is almost certainly an original design. The specs are nothing to go crazy over. The base model that I'm reviewing has an efficient, uh, as I mentioned earlier, processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, 250 gigabytes of solid state storage, Wi-Fi 5 uh, and Bluetooth 5.1. And uh, of course, of the, of the ports, it has USB 3.0 and USB 2.0. However, the uh, USB-C port is not power delivery compatible. So that means finding a charger is a little bit more difficult since it won't work with your laptop's charger probably. But while the hardware isn't anything special, it's also affordable and power efficient for what it does. And what it does is mostly stream video and surf the internet. I tested out the Pico PC's performance in multiple areas, including 4K streaming at 60 Hertz, as well as internet uh, browsing and file transfer speeds. My overall impression is that it's good, although there are a few caveats. During 4K 60 Hz streaming, power consumption um, was jumping between 10.2 watts and 11.6 watts. And while it was streaming, fan noise uh, with an ambient background noise of uh, 40 decibels measured in between 41 and 44 decibels. So overall, the playback experience is excellent. In particular, the Pico uh, PC produces less noise compared to the Nook Box, which makes for, uh, 53 dBm. However, this tended to run at a much higher temperature than the Nook Box. The browsing performance is near identical to the, to the Nook Box. Uh, it will open most web pages fluently, although on rare occasion, it will struggle with opening poorly coded web pages that use older JavaScript libraries. The uh, solid state storage is some sort of Hynix uh, M2-2242 SATA SSD. The performance is adequate, although it's significantly slower than the uh, storage 
that's used inside of the GMK Nook box. However, that's somewhat to be expected because Nookbox SSD was 500 gigabytes in size, therefore it had more NAND packages to write to. Overall, the performance of the SSD is significantly slower than the Nookbox. My overall impression of the Pico, uh, Pico PC, though, is very positive. I can't say the same for the Pico projector um, that XDO is trying to sell alongside the Pico PC. This is not terrible by any means, although it's not really great either. I describe it as okay in value and capability for its price point. Its mediocrity is mostly because it's so tiny. There's just a limited amount of things that engineers can do when designing hardware within such a small envelope. But uh, it's really small. You could fit this thing in your pocket and uh, it stacks neatly on top of the Pico PC. Um, however, when you stack them on top of each, each other, that's when another problem shows up because they look like they were designed by two different companies. And that's because they were. Uh, after some searching around, I found an identical product being sold in the United Arab Emirates. And I found that uh, the larger model of the Pico PC, the XB model, is also being sold on AliExpress for $250 under a different label. So what does this mean? Uh, it means that XDO is buying products from manufacturers, slapping their brand on it, and then reselling that to people who have backed the Kickstarter. Probably a little bit of a markup. It also means you could find the same product on AliExpress or even Amazon for less money than what XDO is charging. We call this white label reselling. And while it's a common industry practice, it's also frowned upon because it means the seller has more or less lied or falsely implied that they designed the products um, other than the Pico PC, which is, is a native design. But so pretty much all of their, their uh, value add products on checkout are white label products. There are other issues as well uh, with the projector. For example, the Pico projector uses a barrel jack power connector instead of USB-C on the Pico PC. And uh, that difference is what makes these devices so mismatched because the projector was supposedly designed for use with a power brick and power bricks usually come loaded with USB-A ports. Um, the Pico projector uses a standard wall wart AC adapter. In fact, XDO even advertises the Pico projector and Pico PC as being able to run off of a portable battery. Uh, and you could easily uh, do that because a Pico projector, it, it only pulls 10 watts measured off the wall socket and it has a large internal battery. Um, on, uh, but here's some more on the Pico projector. It, it's not suited for mobile use because its fan is uh, irritatingly loud, 51 decibels. So if you're using uh, this device in a shared space, the fan is definitely going to make you some, some enemies. But overall, uh, if you can ignore all the other issues with it, like the, uh, the lack of USB-C, this is a fairly decent projector. Uh, so let's really quickly summarize the pros and cons of the Pico PC. First, it's cheaper than its competition at its early bird price point. Second, it includes out-the-box Linux compatibility. Third, it has two more ports compared to the Nookbox, as well as a USB 2.0 port, which helps with wireless interference and compatibility issues. And finally, the Pico PC is significantly quiet, quieter than its competitors, owing to its larger heatsink. The cons of the Pico PC include it's, uh, it has a relatively weak and inferior build quality compared to the GMK Nookbox. It has a slower SSD. And finally, um, it still has an issue with the USB 3.0 bug, uh, although its, its issue is not nearly as severe as the Nookbox. So that said, should you buy the uh, Pico PC or the Pico projector? The Pico PC absolutely is an original design and it's a slight upgrade over its competitors such as the GMK Nookbox or the Chewy Lark Box. It has more ports and out-the-box Linux, Linux compatibility, has some issues with USB 3.0, and it's a step down in build quality compared to the Nook, the Nook Box. But overall, it's a good device and worth $200. 
Well, it's by no means a gaming PC, it's good at what it does, and that's stream 4K video at 60 hertz and browsing the web. Uh, that said, I can recommend the Pico PC, uh, but not, not the Pico projector. We've reached the end of this review for a more thorough analysis of the XDO Pantera Pico PC's internal components and performance. Please visit the link in the video description and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.